All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 41. All right. So to store the current time of the song when it's paused, we're going to set the song current time of the user data object to the current time of the audio variable. And note that we should not use optional chaining for this step because user data dot song current time will definitely be defined. All right. So yeah, for this one, what we're going to do is uh, user data dot song current time. And we're going to make that equal the current time of the audio variable. So audio dot current time, just like that. So it's that easy. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 42 and we'll see you next time.